All right, I'm going to go into Sam's Club here and show you what they got uh, carnivore-wise and uh, keto-wise, uh, some of the stuff anyway. Uh, they don't have much at Sam's, and what they do have is basically crap, you know, some of the stuff. Uh, not all of it, but, uh, you know, they'll call it keto, but throw in, uh, or a whole food, you know, throw in some, uh, let's just throw in some dextrose here and some, uh, some cottonseed oil here and, you know, so there's no reason for it either, you know. But anyway, uh, let's go inside and uh, see what they got. Okay, they got these uh, Parmesan crisps at Sam's, you know, uh, $10 a bag, $9.98. <clears throat> but look at these ingredients. Okay, you got cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, all good, right? And then you get down there, cassava flour, whatever the hell that is, makes it three grams. I mean, you make your own Parmesan crisp, and it's zero grams. So, I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, it's got zero sugar, but it's still got flour in it. You know, we don't eat flour, right? So, no go. Just saw these uh, Parmesan crisps from Members Mark. No preservatives, no artificial colors, zero carb. <clears throat> these have, okay, zero carb. Let's make sure I didn't do net carbs. I don't do net carbs. Okay, no net carbs. Uh, you got Parmesan cheese, pasteurized milk cheese culture salt and enzymes so no flour so I would get these are uh, they're like 976 I mean if you're gonna do it I'll just make my own but uh, but I mean this would be a good alternative for a road trip you know or something so they got ghee butter which is uh, $20 it's a big jar um, Let's see what they put in this stuff, huh? Cultured butter contains milk. Not bad. Zero carb. I think. Not focused. There you go. Now it's focusing. Yeah, zero carb. So <clears throat> that's not a bad uh, if you want to get that. I think 20 bucks is way too expensive. You can make your own uh, out of butter. But. You know, takes a little time, but if you don't want to cook it yourself, and you can do that, it's grass fed. Let's see, Nutiva coconut and avocado oil. Yeah, no reason to mix them, but you know, I guess keto certified. Then they got black truffle. Extra virgin olive oil, 13 bucks. I mean, this is a good alternative. I mean, I just fry everything in <clears throat> beef tallow or bacon grease, but I do use olive oil every now and then for uh, when I don't want to uh, get that uh, bacon flavor. You know, uh, they got a big bottle of olive oil here, 100% pure, 12 bucks, three liters. You know, it's not the extra virgin, but uh, yeah, it says it's all olive oil. So I guess you know, if you want to go that route, it's not a bad, uh, you know, a bad thing to get. So they got that, but I just stick with the uh, being on the carnivore right now. I'm just sticking with all all the beef uh, uh, and bacon grease and beef tallow and lard if you can find lard don't get the hydrogenated get the uh, either make your own or uh, find somebody that's uh, not hydrogenated because uh, that stuff's just like getting Crisco when they hydrogenate it get the coffee uh, don't get the flavored the flavored is uh, they don't have to list what they put in you know so if you get any of those flavored ones they can put whatever they want in them you want something that's 100% premium coffee. I don't know why, but uh, 
coffee bags don't have to put under you know what's in it they can put whatever they want so just get the unflavored like if you get these you know with other natural flavors stuff they uh if you look it up they use uh, chemicals to infuse the uh, flavors in there so and uh, the people working at these factories have to wear hazmat suits so I forget what the name of it is but if you look it up uh, maybe I'll find a link and put it in the description but uh, artificial flavors are put in using chemicals and uh, not good for you so just find one without any ad flavors you know Coffee's good by itself. Why ruin it with uh, chemical infused flavors? You know, but yeah, if you look at these, it just says ground coffee, natural flavors. Well, they don't tell you about the process, and that's the only thing they put on these coffees. They don't have to put a full list of ingredients, you know, telling you, but I don't know why. They probably got an exemption from the FDA or some bullshit, but you know. Okay, I get my water here. It's Sam's taking the truck with me. I don't care about alkaline. It doesn't matter. Your stomach acidity just neutralizes it right away. But these are uh, like the smart waters. They have uh, potassium and uh, magnesium added to it. Uh, if you don't pay the premium smart water price. So you can get these, get them. And yes, I know they're in plastic bottles. But uh, I don't have time to buy a whole bunch of glass bottles and... Yeah, uh, you know, find uh, water transported in glass. You know, too much trouble. It's five dollars more for the same stuff. You know, except you get a cool lid on top, right? But uh, yeah, five dollars more. It's fifteen for these, ten for the other. So there you go. Yeah, this Truvia. You know, they make it sound like, oh, naturally sweet, uh, stevia leaf. You look at the ingredients, it's not just stevia, it's erythritol, which, you know, is fine on the keto diet, on the carnivore diet, I guess, but uh, it gives uh, digestive issues to people, namely me, you know. <laughs> so, too much erythritol, you'll be, uh, you'll be on the toilet for a while, let's just say that. So, gotta watch that. And then, the stevia in a raw, like, oh great, you know, it's stevia, right? All natural. Here, dextrose. Anything with an O's in it's going to make you gain weight, going to spike your sugars, you know. If they would just do stevia leaf extract, great. So this is crap too, so don't get that unless you don't care. But, uh, you know, got to know what you put in your body. There are ribeyes, 1298. It's not bad. Uh, I have a local uh, grocery that with the butcher that uh, I can get the whole loins for, you know, eight a pound sometimes, uh, up to ten. So I'm just gonna go to him. They don't have any loins here this week, but their loins they they rarely give you a discount. So just it'll be like twelve seventy five instead of twelve ninety eight at Sam's. So if you can find it cheaper elsewhere, you know, get it there. Yeah, they're 80-20, it's not bad, it's uh, 3.32 a pound, but uh, I, I look for 73.27, and they rarely do that here for some reason at Sam's, so, but if you want 80-20, I mean, the more fat content, the better, but, uh, you know, you get it here for 3.32 a pound, it's not bad. Yeah, this is a good, uh, a good, you know, pulled pork. You don't want to cook it yourself. Yeah, zero carb. The ingredients is just pork, water, sea salt, black pepper, paprika. I can't have that. I got psoriasis. I'm avoiding that right now. Red pepper and garlic powder. And red pepper too. That's a nightshade. Uh, if you don't know what nightshades are, then uh, look it up. It, if you have skin problems, you want to try to avoid them. You know. But then you got. Uh, See what this pulled chicken has in it. Uh, and it's two carbs and then they put crap in it. So we got a long list of crap. If they just left it alone, it'd be perfect. You know, so. But the uh, pulled pork, I've had that. It's actually pretty delicious. So keep that in mind too. Then they got beef brisket. 
Uh, I'm, they probably add crap to it though. Too. Let's see. It's expensive too. Of course. Well, it's real carb, so it's just the brisket, salt, and yeah, sodium phosphates. And again, it's got paprika and uh, red pepper. But you know, that's not bad. Uh, 878 a pound isn't bad either, you know, to have it already cooked and sliced, you know, so that's an option. I just cook my own, you know. Okay, these Angus burgers, you know, 360 a pound, already made, you know, not bad. So you look at the ingredients, you know, it's got beef flavoring, okay, and caffeinated salt. And hydrogenated cottonseed oil. That is Crisco. No thank you. Okay, so I'll go for the sirloin burgers. And I don't know why, it's just sirloin beef. And beef, you know. It's 85% lean, but uh, I don't have time to make hamburger patties, you know. So just keep that in mind. That uh, the Angus is a uh, 80 20, which is better, but uh, they put that crap in it. So I'm gonna go with the sirloin burger. And then, of course, if you want dog food for your burgers, get this Beyond Burger crap. Look at that. I'm sure uh, my dog food that I get from my dogs has better ingredients than that. Right? Yeah, here's the dog food I get from my dog. Lamb and rice recipe. Uh, I think it looks better than that uh, Beyond Burger crap or whatever that was. So, yep, if you want dog food, eat that uh, Impossible Burger or Beyond Burger, whatever it was. I'm here at the uh, grocery outlet. Here, uh, this is my local. Uh, grocery that has a uh, butcher shop in it uh, I can usually find some good deals on their uh, whole loins ribeye and uh, sometimes they have New York strip and uh, filet mignon too in the whole loin they uh, they discount by the pound but uh, I'm gonna go inside here and check it out and uh, let's see what I find it's pouring down rain right now so I guess I'm just gonna run in here real quick Let's see. Well, all they got left is New York Strip. But uh, not bad at 822 a pound. Uh, I think I have enough uh, ribeye in my freezer though, so we'll see. Yeah, I went ahead and settled on this uh, ribeye, Angus ribeye they had for 9.11 a pound. I got two packs of it. Uh, he told me they are having another truck come in tomorrow, so. This should last me and my wife for a couple of days until then, but uh, I got two packs of this, but uh, uh, he said to call him tomorrow and he'll check for me. He said their loins have been going for uh, seven, uh, uh, 750 a, a pound, I believe, so I will definitely check back with him tomorrow. Wow, I'm out of Publix. $5.99 for four folios, cheese wraps. Six ounces. So it's a dollar fifty a wrap. I mean, it's uh, milk. I mean, it's pretty much just uh, you know the Parmesan cheese. But uh, and you guys got to quit paying so much for keto stuff. I mean. They're just putting it out there and everybody's like, oh, give me some of that. Well, and now look, these cheddar ones. $5.99 also for four. Yeah, it's great. You know, one net carb. But, man, this is crazy. Everybody just throws money out there because it's uh, keto and you can make these at home. You know, uh, look at my video. I'll show you how to make it, but, uh, man. We gotta quit paying, just throw our money, you know, take my money at all these uh, keto stuff. It's just getting insane, people. They're, uh, okay. 
It's $500, you have no choice of carrier, the battery can't hold a charge, and the reception isn't very... Shut up and take my money! 